Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Well, I didn't intend on doing a video today, but something's just been jumping out at me and I've just got to do it. It's just been coming up a lot lately in this hypersign, hypersign identity. And uh, if you look at, if, if you follow me on Twitter, you're probably going to get a lot of great information there as well, because I can't cover everything. In fact, I don't even remember everything I have covered. <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. But if you go to connect the dots and give uh, them a follow, you're going to get a lot of great information, especially on some low caps that, frankly, most of us don't have a lot of time to research. So at least you can go to this list and start looking. And one of the things that came up with us is identity. Obviously, identity is so important and it's going to happen. Everybody in the whole world, at least as it stands right now, is going to get a digital identity. In fact, people will probably beg for it. That's the way things have worked lately. Would it be great if everybody was like, no, screw this, we're not going to do it? Uh, yeah, but uh, as things stand right now, uh, this is what the push is for and this is what's going to happen. Especially if we're going to get into all of the other things that are planned. So, what digital identity is going to win? Well, in the end, I think it's going to be something tied to the Linux Foundation. But how will this all play out? I don't know. And HID is such a small cap with such big possibilities that I had to go over it. HID is a featured product of Hypermind. Hypermind has gotten multiple awards for their security products from Udasys, Accenture, and Cybervane. So I, you know, I noticed right away Accenture when I looked at their website, and that's always a huge connection. But what else? Today, ALBT and UDO holders have no idea that there's partnerships and ties with HyperSign, aka HID. So Unido is uh, a partnered with Alliance Block, and I've done a video on that. In fact, you can go back, take a look at this Unido video. And uh, you probably realize that Unido is going a little bit crazy right now. Doesn't mean it'll stay that way, but it's at 60 cents, which is uh, pretty great because I think we got in around 13, right? So I'm not selling, uh, no, you know, whatever. Just let it ride, right? It's still not even to its all time high. I'm looking at about three bucks before I start even looking at it. But that's just my opinion. But if you go back and watch my old videos, really, you're going to learn so much. In fact, I do. I go back and watch my own videos just to learn stuff. It's really crazy. But if you go back too far, back to some of my original videos, you'll see I had no clue what the hell I was doing. I knew how to put two and two together. I kind of knew how the world worked, and that helped a lot. But my videos were rubbish, and I really did not know you know, much about the crypto space, to be honest. I just knew where to look. Then once we get towards the newer ones, you know, things like uh, Master of the Stablecoin or Facebook is still not Libra, there's so much really great information that I've forgotten. So hopefully as a team, we can remember all this stuff and, and keep this together. And I really appreciate that everybody is subscribing and everybody's adding to the comments and adding to the knowledge here. So subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And the fantastic comments about the channel. I really appreciate it. Anyhow, back to HyperSign. So we're looking at Unido and HyperSign. That's a big one for me because you're looking at the cap of the cap. I mean, because HyperSign, as far as I can tell, HyperSign is still below a million dollar market cap. Considering the connections that it has, it seems very, very, very low. So my opinion, this is kind of a no brainer because you could throw $100, $200 into this and it could end up being, you know, a lot. And that's just my opinion, of course, not financial advice, because I have no idea. But it seems like the downside is so much less than the upside, which is exactly what I thought of Unido when I bought it. I said, oh, it's connected to Alliance Block. Well, Alliance Block at the time wasn't even really a sure thing. Of course, it's still not, but it's much more of a sure thing than it was, right? As is uh, Quan. So you look at the ones that are connected to the ones that you think are going to pump that are super low caps, 
like this. And it's your chance to actually, you know, do something if that's what you're after. And a lot of people that are watching this channel are trying to make money. Now, of course, the whole system is fake and, you know, but still that fake money will pay your bills. So it's really very interesting time we live in. And I try and cover things from all those perspectives. But it is confusing as heck. But look at HyperSign. All right. Omnichain Decentralized Identity Infrastructure. Now, do I think that everything is going to go uh, decentralized? As far as where it goes with the public, I do believe that. Now, there'll be your private networks that are for your banks and institutions and governments and things like that. I don't think they're going to give up anything. But I think for the people, this is what they want, uh, decentralized. So what I think we're looking at is a false narrative. The narrative is going to be, okay, we say Facebook, no, we're not going to do that. We want something decentralized. And then we're going to be pushed into something that comes from the Linux Foundation or Enterprise Ethereum, which will be decentralized. But don't fool yourself. It's going to be the same old players. So when I look at the HyperSign website, you know, for a sub $1 million market cap or something very low at least, it's good. You know, there, I see some problems with it. You see here the formatting. I saw this before and it kind of made me cringe a little bit. I know these things happen. I think overall it's a pretty good website. But for when they start getting into the higher market cap, I'm going to have to figure they're going to fix this. It may not be looking like this on everybody's computer, but it certainly looks that, that way on mine. Here you see the words from Accenture, Unisys, Harmony, which you know I've been covering for a very long time. And of course, I'm going to look at, oh yeah, partner with Elrond. I think you should know that, and Ontology. Now, you'll see some people connected to this from Neo, which of course is a uh, very connected Chinese blockchain. Harmony, of course. As far as the investors go, I did go over a lot of these and I wasn't super impressed. I mean, you go to Block OG Capital, which is the first one that's announced here, and all of a sudden, all right, I'm getting formatting errors. It's the same person that uh, made the other one. But one that did catch my eye is, oh, and you see a Moonwell. Somebody asked me about that the other day, and here we see it again. But NGC Ventures, and this is where I got with the, uh, with the NEO hookup. Now, LD here, that's another one that I've seen many times, right? I think I've talked about that before. But here's a little uh, a news article on Medium. NGC Ventures invests in HyperSign. NGC Ventures is one of the largest institutional investors of blockchain and distributed ledger, ledger technologies. NGC's portfolio includes Anchor, Solana, Polkadot, Algorand, Oasis, Elrond, and many others. HyperSign is building decentralized identity and access management solutions for the future. So, of course, I'm going to look at the team. And uh, I have gone through all of these. And yes, a lot of it is tied to China. I see a lot of connections with the BSN going on and what they're doing. What I found super interesting is when you click on their names, how it comes up and it types it out. I have not seen that on a lot of websites. I think it's a nice touch. So when you look at the founding partners, Longstand Capital, PE Fund in China, uh, you're going to see Tsinghua University, things like that. Singapore. So a lot of China and Singapore. Secretary General of X Order, former Secretary General of NEO. Participated in multiple digital asset ICOs such as Ethereum, Factum, Ant Shares, NEO, of course, Elastic, and so on. So, a lot of connections here for the market cap that I'm seeing. And the investment team, Andrea Zhang, Goldman Sachs. And then, if you want to get into the token utility, in fact, I'm going to leave this in the description if you want to go over it. It goes over the token tokenization, which I think is important. They also talk about the other IDs and why they're better. And if they talk about Facebook and Google, how they sell your privacy. Well, you got to make money somehow, right? And uh, typically the big tech, they just give everything for free and then screw you on the other side. 
And then they talk about Evernim and Sovereign here. And that's important because that is basically the Hyperledger Linux Foundation solution. And what they're saying is, hey, there's no way for it to be paid for. In fact, they kind of, they're a nonprofit, and they kind of had to let everybody go at one point. But I am not counting Sovereign out because I think that the big tech, such as Google and Facebook, will come in and pay for this. And it is likely to be the, the solution that will all be sold that none of us want. But I do like how this is written, and I think it is a great idea to go look at. And again, I think for the market cap, it's pretty damn good. Downside is, is I think there's only like a million, two million tokens out. Now I'll have to confirm this hopefully with HyperSign. Coin market cap has no idea. They think the circulating supply is two million out of fifty million, and CoinGecko has no clue. But they're saying the market cap is six hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. So something to look at. So let's revisit this one in about six months and see where we're at. Uh, I think uh, it might be interesting. I think we're doing pretty well overall with our picks. If you take a look at my portfolio, we're having several big winners, Unido being the top. Actually, Mobify was pumping just last week, so I think we've, what, 5 x on this. In the past few months, IOTech's doing quite well. Alliance Block, of course. So I just added HyperSign Identity Token. I haven't actually bought any yet. I need to go in and take care of that. But overall, very, very happy with my portfolio, and I hope you are too. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.